What's up, everybody? I've been looking forward to this day for about six months now. Uh, this video is a little bit different than uh, normal, but I'm on my way to test paddle for my future canoe from Placid Boatworks today to give the Osita and the Rapid Fire a test paddle with my whole solo setup today and find out exactly which one I like the best. Turn left onto Station Street, then your destination will be on the right. I just arrived here at Placid Boat Works. I'm uh, looking forward to this so much, guys. So let's take a look at these boats. All right, Scott's got me all set up here. I have a rapid fire right here in red. That I'm going to be paddling. Things gorgeous, and over there is the Osita. Here's all my stuff that I need to try out, and here I go. And I have an Osita here and a Rapid Fire there in red, and I'm going to run through all my stuff here, throw my gear in just to see how it fits uh, side by side, and then I'm going to give each a paddle. Right off the bat, the thing I notice is the Osita is definitely narrower which can be good, but I like to carry cooler occasionally. And it does not fit in the back of the Osita, but in the rapid fire here, it fits like a glove. So that's definitely something to consider. This was intended to be my solo boat. So if it can't carry a, you know, a full-size cooler is what I consider this, then it's not the end of the world. seem to easily hold my gear. That I would normally carry, which is expected. And that's why these were the boats that I selected so far. It's really a matter of the paddle. Well, just finished up my test paddle at Placid Boatworks here. Right, there's a bunch of people here that are interested in paddling, so I didn't want to just hog the boats. But I got to paddle the Rapid Fire, I got to paddle the Osita, they're both amazing boats. For me, you know, I'm only 165 pounds, about six feet. I carry about 50 pounds of gear. There is an occasional cooler that I like to bring that uh, fits perfectly horizontally behind the seat in the Rapid Fire, but vertically, it'll fit in the Osita just fine. Uh, the Osita handles like a Porsche, in my opinion. It, it, it turns on a dime. You can get on the corner. Um, it's very nimble. It feels like you're wearing the Osita. The rapid fire for my body form uh, is a little bit bigger. It's great. Uh, it just doesn't feel like it handles as well. Uh, so my decision's been made, and I'm going with the Placid Boatworks Osita with the medium seat. And I could put the high seat in if I want to paddle like the 90 or if I uh, want to just switch it out. But the medium seat's a, kind of the best of both worlds. It gives you a little bit of an athletic feel. And also the uh, seat back engages with you a little bit more than with the high seat. So, so. an Osita with a medium seat, normal cockpit, standard cockpit, and amethyst color. So uh, that's it for the test paddle. Placid Boatworks. Come up here and check these guys out, man. I'll get a little video of their uh, showroom uh, so you can see. It's beautiful up here. They got a great facility with an on-site pond. And Scott, the manager that I met, was uh, more than happy to help me. He wasn't rushing me. Uh, answered all my questions. Uh, it was great. And once again, guys, thanks for watching Adirondack Adventures. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned because there's a lot more coming.